All right, this is like a wheeling sort of setup, or lean-to, if you want to say. Just enough. If it was a little drizzle, it'd cover you, and you weren't swinging in a hammock. <laughs> I got three ropes out the front, and I got sloped out the back. So if the wind was coming from this direction, this would be optimum, you know? to keep it off you. You could set your gear up under there where it'll stay dry. Or if you had a buddy who didn't have a hammock, they had a mat and a bag, they could hunker down right there and be sort of cozy. Have to work out the skeeter issues later if they wanted to do that. Maybe have a head net in their own little setup. But I got three cords pulling it out, the corners and in the middle. It'd be neat to come up with a ridge line system sort of pulls from both ends, but it won't pull out in the middle. That one's a little flat. It won't pull out in the middle, though. Here, come here for a minute, Assistant Bob. Don't touch the screen. Alright. Now we got a little more tension in it. So yeah. Oh, please, your hand in the hammock. Yeah. Kick on back. Like I said, I got a ridge line, you know, rope tight over there. I just got a taunt line hitch at that end. But it covers you. You know, even this covers you a bit. It's like I said, if it wasn't a big downpour. Boy, I think I'm going to like this hammock stuff. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Get Mama sewing. Maybe she can make some junior-sized hammocks. Yeah. <laughs>